Well, greetings. Uh, Lee Harder from the T&D with you today. Lots of headlines to tell you about today. We're covering the funeral and mem memorial services and, and the memories for Korean veteran Louis, Private First Class Lewis Crosby today. Uh, big news, his return home after 70, 70 years. 70 years ago, he was killed in the Korean War. Body never returned. Quite a story. You can follow that at the tnd.com. And of course, we'll be bringing you a full print report uh, in the morning on that. Headlines from this day also, 2018 uh, excessive force case involving a DPS officer in the city of Orangeburg. City has reached a $10,000 settlement with the person who filed that complaint. We updated you today on municipal elections. Filing has ended. Elections on September 14th will include contested races for mayor in Ellery, Utahville, Holly Hill, and Springfield. The city of Orangeburg's election is September the 14th, and there is a contested race for mayor there. SC State classes, more updates on that. They were delayed with COVID concerns. Uh, now SC State is mandating masks in uh, public areas of the university. Okay, 21 new coronavirus cases reported in the TND region. Uh, on a happier note, uh, Teresa Hatchell is telling you today all about how to use zucchini in your cooking. And over in sports, we're continuing our football previews with a look at the Orangeburg prep team, which has 10 seniors and is really looking to do some special things this season. Check us out at the tnd.com. You can look back at the previous football previews there. You can get all the latest news other than just local too. There's a lot of national news going on, international news, and you can find it all at the tnd.com. Have a good day.